Hey everybody, I'm Kate Dillon and this is Jimmy Schultz from the Cars Racing Show and today we're speaking to racers and we want to talk about why it's a good idea to attend our trade show. The Cars Racing Show will be taking place on January 7th and 8th at the Hickory Metro Convention Center in Hickory, North Carolina. So Jimmy, what, what are some reasons? You're a, you're a former racer. Former, yeah. Yeah, I mean, mm -hmm. I, you know, I, I don't think. know that you're retired. Well. If you had a, I don't know. You, yeah, you're, I, you're a racer. At the end of the day, you're always, you're, once a racer, always a racer. I think I'm retired. I look at myself in that lens right there, and I'm like, that guy shouldn't be driving. Hey, right? hey, you're a just for men away from... from <laughs> <laughs> think, I should, think, think I should get the goop? Huh? Get rid of the gray? Hey, hey, you do That's you. A, but uh, uh, yeah, awesome. once, once a racer, always a racer. Okay, all right. We'll take no, that. I really wasn't, but you were, you were talking That's about fine. your aging yeah, in the, in the camera aging. there. Yeah. But uh, why should a racer care about our show? Why should they show up? Um, for the same for the same reasons the exhibitors should do it, which is the face to face interaction, um, to, to come and meet the people that you are spending your money with, um, to <laughs> yeah. to to be able so you can um, the, the only way to evaluate um, wise business decisions and what's going to work for your race team is going to be meet them face to face. And, and especially as the costs keep rising in racing and things are becoming more and more resource uh, heavy. Yeah. I'll yeah put it that way, heavy. that we invest more and more and more into our racing programs and probably in a short track level than what than people ever have before, that um, that, you, that you need to be make sure that that, that money is being spent wisely and with the right people. And if it's hard to get that over the phone. Yeah. It's hard to get that at a racetrack. And so that would be the number one reason is, is to be able to develop those personal relationships. Um, find out who really does care about your racing program. Who's the one, who are the ones that are going to go do, do what you need to do to, to, to win races? Well, I mean, answer your questions. You know, I do a podcast, the Racing Insiders podcast. We answer questions on an almost mm -hmm. weekly basis. Um, I would say... Uh, you know, and that's something that we add that value. It's not even tied to a product. Who else is willing to answer your questions and and also really honor your questions without rolling their eyes? And, right. and, and I would say, you know, we, we gather up some exhibitors that are super nice people. I, I, you know, it, it can always happen. Um, I would say a couple. I've got a couple of the reasons why a racer yeah, should attend you. the show. Um, one of them, I'm, of course, in the retail side of things. I sell race car parts online. I ship them all over the country. And shipping has gone up considerably this year. We're hearing um, we're hearing now that I think UPS and FedEx could go up by as much 6 or 8% in January. And it's, you know, race car parts are specialty items that you're not able to pick up at your local Napa store or AutoZone or, or Walmart. These are specialty products, and if you are having to order them online, I mean, if you're lucky enough that there's, you know, that you've got a race car parts store in, in your area, fantastic, but a lot of people don't, or, you know, I don't sell every single part that exists. You know, that I think that's big. So coming to the show, the, my point of this, is you're able to buy parts at the show so that you can go take them home and put them right in your race car. And the two problems that we're looking at in January or you know coming up from now until who knows when is rising shipping costs and supply chain issues. And those aren't going away anytime soon. At least you're able to go and you can buy many of the things that you need to be able to put your race car together. Now I have another reason too to add to this it, which is totally separate because at the end of the day, you don't know what you don't know. You know, we, 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 we don't. Yes, sir. Exactly. And the trade show is a perfect opportunity to go in depth, to, to see new things, but also go a little deeper. And a, one example I can think of is, um, is our presenting sponsor, Daytona One. In this past year, Buck Parker has released an oil. It's called PTRO, Purpose Tuned Racing Oil. Purpose tuned racing oil means that it's tuned exactly for the application. So, you know, let's go to passenger cars for a second. You know, if you've got a Nissan or if you've got a Toyota, you kind of need some different parts for that. Now right. we're in we're in performance and being in the crate, I'm in the crate side of things, um, crate engines, and nobody has ever really really dialed into that market for years. I and mean, there there are thousands of crate engines out there. And yet uh, some of the technology that we get is just kind of passed down like, 
you know, like you're the second or third kid in a big family and like it's just getting passed down from supers. Well, just because it works in a super doesn't necessarily mean it works in a crate. And we worked with Buck Parker at Daytona One. We have purpose-tuned racing oil specifically for crate engines. Now let's circle back. Yeah. As Crate Insider, how much does it cost you on average to ship a case of oil? About, it's 24 pounds. So depending on the area of your country, uh, we're 23 to $28. So twenty three to twenty eight dollars, somewhere around. And that. I, I'm not putting Buck on the spot here, but I would imagine that Buck is going to be offering some some show specials. Well, um, well, well. What will probably or happen? Or through Crate Insider. Yeah. Well, there'll be several of his dealers there right. as well, and yeah, you'll be able to pick up some oil there at the show. So it's not inconceivable that you could save that that you could oh save God. thirty forty dollars on a case of oil minimum, maybe. Yeah. And, oh, um, for sure. But now we start adding up things that like uh, like some other things that could possibly be at the show, like body panels. Um, just look at the rocker panels that go on the sides of the Dirt Lake models. I mean, they're 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 what eight, seventy eight inches long or something like that. Hard um, to ship. It's it's hard to ship because it's actually anything over forty eight inches for UPS is a surcharge of fifteen dollars. You only need three pieces of rock, rocker in order to to put a body on a car, and so um, now you got to spend an extra. $15 on top of what you had to spend to ship it in the first place. Um, I'm not sure what the shipping is on those, but I would imagine as, as I know the wraps, what I have to ship, I would not, it would not surprise me if shipping three rocker panels wouldn't be um, $50, $60. And well, another thing that ships for $50, $60 is the Dave Hammond's chassis setup plates. Okay. Um, which are a fantastic, if you haven't checked out Dave Hammond's chassis setup plates, that is an incredible tool. And they're so heavy duty. I mean, they're this like heavy duty steel that's like laser cut. It's amazing. But the package itself weighs about 60 pounds. Right. So they're expensive to ship. It is what it is. And there's nothing, I mean, nothing that we can do about it. Those of us who ship things, but what a perfect thing to pick up at the show. Absolutely. Uh, uh, uh a, a race team that is putting a car together or you know on a, an even a maintenance of a normal basis you could easily spend an upwards over a thousand dollars on shipping alone oh. just by um just by purchasing things at the show and uh, we're going to come out with a but we're and we're going to leak those things out as we uh, you know as we get closer to the show as to what some of the things that we're going to know and hear about as far as show specials and promotions um through our exhibitors um so you, people were going to know what to expect but already know that it's it's a pretty heavy duty list yeah well another example go. and i know an example that i can use from last year is a dirt car lift dirt car lift will be at our show again this right. year and i know they were selling lifts right there but they also brought lifts that people pre-ordered and just said hey you know come to the show and pick them up that's a that's an item that has been 180 dollars to ship so that's, that's right. a huge thing. I mean, I know how I had Dirk Carliff bring me some lifts because I'm a dealer. So, right. well, so the, yeah. You look I mean, at the seat companies. Um, yeah, you can pre-order that. Randall Joy will be there. Butler's there. ISP will be there. Um, seats are pretty large items. So um, they're going to be bringing a lot of a lot of stock that um, you can pick up a, a seat right there and, and take it home with you. So take a look at our exhibitors list and you'll be able to even call those folks in ahead of time mm -hmm. and they could even make sure that they're bringing those parts for you and then you can pick them up there. So there's, it's going to be a gathering place where you get to see new products that you may have never even heard of in your life before, but then also, oh my God, I mean, the thousands, I can't even imagine. One thing I've never done is calculate how much shipping it would take for all of the pieces. You know, I don't really know. I mean, with, I think it's a, it's a, I think it's I mean, a hidden it's cost. It's a totally hidden cost, kind of like a, taxes. But, absolutely. Uh, hidden hidden cost, but you could potentially save thousands of dollars. Absolutely. And be guaranteed that you're going to have the product. Yeah, cause because it's there. when the supply chain issues that we have right now that like it um that if you if you don't have something in hand that are, are you going to be guaranteed that you're going to be able to get it? Because I hear some horror stories out there right now about trying to get certain even thing, even commodity things. That I haven't think, been able to buy spark plugs since about February or March. Crazy of that's the spark crazy. plugs that are are we've got two preferred spark plugs, yep. and I haven't been able to order them since February or March. Uh, right. There's there's been a number of things that we've had shortages of, and I try to stock up, but you know it's the yeah get get it while you can. And then on top of saving a bunch of money, 
which is always great, um, and about developing the relationships, we're also going to have some fantastic seminars. Yes. Um, that with 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 industry professionals that uh, some some brand name household names that are going to be conducting these seminars that are that um, that are going to be free for you to attend yep. um, with your ticket to the show, which right now is free. I mean, everything is free. What what? How much is it? Free. Free. I know it's we go free. free. All you have yeah. to do is click on the link, um, go to the website, um, click on the yellow button that says get tickets, and it's free. But the seminars are fantastic. Um, they they um, they're going to be. Um, conducted in our conference rooms, and um, they you you be able to have Q and A sessions um, with the with the people that are conducting the 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 seminars and, and the instructional classes. Um, so you're gonna you're gonna pick up a whole lot of stuff while you're here. Yeah, it's gonna be a lot of fun, and I know um, I think there's one there's two seminars we could kind of reach out and kind of chat about. I can I can announce mine. Oh, let's, well, listen, we'll, we'll, wait, we'll, we'll wait. wait. We'll, we'll wait. wait. We'll like do them all at one time. But um, but we we've we've thought here about how we can cover um all aspects of of your racing program. Um, we looked over the race car itself and say, well, we have a we have an engine and we have suspension and we have tires and we have we have safety stuff and we have you know we have your marketing for your race team, you know things like that. And uh, and we made a list of all those things and lined up the 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 people that that we that we see as um, experts in the field, and um, fortunately, we've had, we've gotten great feedback from the from those people because um, to be able to to um, give us the, give you guys that knowledge of what it what it's going to take to to take your racing program to the next level, and um, and it's free. Yeah, so sign up. And we'll be charging at the door, but right now you can go to carsracingshow.com, click on get tickets. And what's really cool is, hey, you, you want to go ahead and get tickets for your whole team? There's four, five, six of you. You actually get to do a drop down and pick how many tickets do you want. And that it will take you less than 30 seconds to do. You can always follow up later with what names need to be on the badges. But for right now, you it, one email address, how many tickets do you need, and then go from there. Absolutely. Makes it simple. So, so join us. Sign up. Sign up for the show. So is there anything else, Kate, do you think, why, why somebody would come? Besides saving a whole bunch of money, having a whole bunch of fun, and learning a whole, lot, whole bunch of stuff. Well, I, I think um, there will be beer involved. What? So, uh, there, will, there will be beer involved. And I think hanging out, like doing racing things with my racing friends in January. Like, I mean, how could you possibly say no to that? I think I hear Steve Hendren. Up <laughs> <laughs> racing things That's with my right. racing friends That's having right. a beer or two after the show it's all about it's beer, always right? a good time well you never know what's you never know what conversation pops up the stories i love the stories it's you know lots of stories that you hear racing stories and that's it that's what we're all left with yeah. you know like um it's all about the I, memories you know now that i am a a retired racer right <laughs> it was it as though we're talking about being a retired racer so i, I mean I, all the you know the money if i made any money it's all gone um, I spent it a long time ago, but I still have the trophies. It's fun to look at them. And so they all have a story attached to them. So it's the, the great thing about my stories are is that I run better every time I tell it. I love it. You know it? I, I love that. So, I'll look forward to hearing from some of your stories. That's right. That's good. Yeah, if I tell them another 10 times or so, I might actually win the race. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> so. I don't know. The almost win stories the are almost, even almost. Just about. Yeah. That's it's, right. It's always the 50 cent part that takes you out. That's always you know? it. Or the lap car. Right? That's right. That's why we're having the trade show. Don't let those don't let those 50 cent parts ruin your racing career. So I agree. So sign up today, carsracingshow.com, and we will see, see you, you there. at the show.